what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as poland lithuania and in this episode uh, a force has come to try and uh, relieve the city of stockholm from our besieging forces fortunately the garrison itself is quite weak um, we mostly have to worry about the forces coming in ahead of us although a good chunk of it is um, irregular or lower quality infantry so that shouldn't be too much of a problem um i think The AI does like to screw you over on deployment. Well, I mean, well, in theory, they should be coming in from somewhere to the left. Although they could be coming in quite close in from the left. Might come in from there or somewhere over there. I don't really know. You can never really second guess what the AI, Empire AI, is going to do. Either way, let's take my one gun team, get them deployed. Let's deploy a core of infantry like so. Let's take these guys and maybe deploy them in a bit, in a bit of a... Okay, let's take everybody except that weak unit there. Just as a bit of a hedge. A couple of units here, but then just drop some stakes down just to stop roving cavalrymen pikemen do the same thing just drop them in front of my lines all my cavalry bolt to the rear and see what we're going to see howitzers stay behind the hill and fire general sit on top of the hill and keep watch <laughs> it's actually even worse than what i was thinking it was going to be I'll put my, my pikeman behind my line, not completely out of the picture. Here it's a provincial cab rushing the right flank. And my pikeman over here. God knows why both of those are turned off. comes enemy provincial cav block some of it okay, they're going to get hit by a lot of the stakes so that's going to deal a lot of damage to the seventh regiment same with you guys you're going to get clipped by that state position canister shot just blew a hole through their formation yeah they're not going to continue the charge my howitzers, I'm going to use explosive shell onto one of those infantry units. I'm not really worried about the enemy reinforcements coming in on the left just yet. Skirmishes can start picking off the provincial cav. To be honest, redeploy all of my cavalry over on the left. Try getting my marines to go around the flank. Gunners, switch to canister shot, engage the mercenaries. No, they're withdrawing out of canister range, but they're going to go for the grenadiers. You're going to hit some of the stakes a little bit here as well. Especially when you retreat. You fools! Artillery, just keep hitting. Okay, you guys. Push you forward against the heavy cavalry. Push the regiment of horse against them. Actually, no. There's a horse guard here. Sat here doing nothing. Get my lances to smash into the regiment of militia. Get my pikes to advance. They're slowly advancing towards our front line. But our superior firing drills are doing a lot of good damage. Okay, the grenadiers are wavering. Broken a regiment of infantry. 25th are wavering. Yeah, 
That's too many. Withdraw. Throw my pikemen into the mix. Dragoons go after this unit of armed citizenry. Excellent, that horse guard unit is going to die. Good. Push them in. Push the hussars in. The grenadiers have made it to our lines. Go on, Stanislav. Commit to the charge. My my infantry charge forward into the sixth regiment. Counter charge. My gunners can man their guns. Enemy infantry have made it to our line. Mitchell Mahowitz is engaging infantry to the rear. Over here, charge. Charge. Regiment of forces slowly chipping away at their foot guard unit. They've got a couple of units of infantry that aren't committed. Infantry deploy on the flank of that unit. My general. You men advance into the woods against the militia. You killed that horse guard unit yet? Soon, surely. Excellent, that's the provincial militia gone. You got the garrison militia. The lances aren't ideal for this sort of dug in combat, but in general, it's okay. Although, you, my dragoons, understandably, are in bad shape. Okay, pikemen. Everybody engage that general's bodyguard. My dragoons understandably are broken. Okay, you men. Let's push some infantry units forward. You spin around and engage the garrison militia that my hussars are engaging. My general's bodyguard out of the way here. Run, Stanislav. My infantry is going to push in and attack. Make sure my howitzers have ceased fire. Regiment of horse, get involved. Killed the enemy general. Excellent. Cavalry engage the armed citizenry. The Marines are dead. These men have fought bravely. Okay, how it says, engage the militia. Infantry form ranks. Foot artillery engage the sixth. Everybody's running. Just reform the line. Oh, they're going to bayonet charge. I don't think we've reloaded. Oh, they want to engage us in a musket action. So the 17th are in range to shoot. We're going to let them fire from range. And the 29th are going to advance forward. Good stuff. Run, you devils. Run. There they go. I suppose really we do want to pursue these units because they are the re they're the reinforcing army. Cavalry's committed. There we go. You guys 
opening the 6th regiment, you're all going to try and kill the force, but everyone's spread out quite badly. Just keep killing. We don't really, we don't mind ever so much if we don't kill any whole units, but let's just try and do as much damage as we can. Excellent. You men, this collection just chase down that grouping of cavalry, of infantry rather. Let's collect even more cavalry. Yeah, this army's in dire need of reinforcement. Yeah, they're going to get away. That's okay. You can be more, a lot more optimised by this by actually controlling individual units, but to be honest, for the most part, it's not a huge problem. There's a few cavalry in the in the, in the uh, southwest corner of the map. I know it sounds weird, but that is south, and this is west for some reason. Yeah, there they go. That's just the cavalry. Though they don't actually know where the hell they want to go. That's good. Just send everyone over. Howitzers can probably shoot at them as well, maybe? No, they're just out of range. But that was enough to trigger their logic. But still, that was a successful defence. The siege is still on. The territory might even become ours soon. But we don't know what other Swedish troops there are in the region. Oh, here they come. They're marching in from Finland. Urgent reinforcements are on the way. But I don't think it's going to help them. Um, we can shuffle reinforcements across the Baltic Sea if we need to. We can recruit them in Königsberg. It'll take them a couple of turns to get their um, infantry overland to the capital anyway. So that's not a huge problem. Portugal's on the march. But that's fine. Venetians are still at war with the Ottomans, and that's quite nice. It just kind of ties their um, ties that ties up the Ottoman fleet. Well, really, I should be building a small raiding fleet just to go and block up their ports and cause trouble. At Thessaloniki, let's recruit some light galleys. Okay, we've got some good. Right, let's get... Well, first of all, it looks like we got Sweden. Awesome. So let us keep... Let us rebuild the buildings. Let's reinforce the army. Knock down the college. That's the first thing you want to do. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm not worried about this port. This army is, is, is kind of in a bit of a holding pattern. There are... Uh, they're our first reserve. We don't know where they're going to need to be committed. It may well be to the north, but we're not ever so worried about that for now. Let's see if we can assassinate this general. 26%. Nope. Sadly not. Um, actually, I thought as much. We're not taxing Istanbul. They're going to be a good Catholic nation, so we don't mind. Well, they're going to be a lot more open to being taxed like mad and let's hop back over to the colonies colonies are okay let's move this dragoon unit back into antigua um okay lots of things to upgrade so cayenne you're reinforcing you are not limited on exports yet so we can upgrade the spice plantation 2,000, probably not enough to get most things. But they don't all have... They have all have more than basic roads. It does get us the next government building in Cayenne, though. Let's do that. So Sweden's been taken. That's going to be quite a nice bump. 29,000 in income. That's really good. Sadly, our trade of furs from Sweden, which we now get, does not have an export market. But once we've got... Um, some of these, once you've got the buildings repaired, we'll recruit some cavalry, send them down to Malmo, and uh, kick the fleet out from the blockade. We do also want to get rid of the major fishery here. We don't need... I don't don't believe there are any more towns for Sweden to grow. So you, you, you. 
There may be one? No, I don't think so. No. There may be one somewhere, but ultimately Sweden's now got three ports and four towns, so I don't think we need to worry about population growth here. So we're about to research Karkashat. I think next they will get on to... Well, let's not worry what they're going to get on to. Construction of new artillery buildings is ongoing. That's fine. Uppsala is going to be destroyed. Awesome. Let's hit end turn. Ah, here we go. Yep, the French have landed on Antigua. That's okay. We have one. We have an army able to respond. Hopefully they'll be replenished in time. The Ottomans again threatening us with an attack. Probably sending their agent to come steal our technologies as well. Russia, Russia recalling their gentlemen. Swedish army's moving in. We may have to send our reinforcement army to Scandinavia. This could get tricky fast. It's too bad we can't um, sabotage armies. Oh, they've cancelled our destruction of the university. They clearly intend to hold on to it. Okay, looks like we want to deploy our reserve into Sweden and then start building a new reserve. Because we do not want to get into a position where we have where we have uh, <laughs> an immediate crisis to deal with. Go on, Venice. Yes, Venice. We don't want to get to a point where we have a um, serious crisis to deal with and we have no reserve troops to deal with it. I think our first order of business is going to be recruiting a mixture of... Actually, it might just be a lot of Dragoons. No, it'd be Dragoons and infantry. We need more more fighting troops. Although, hopefully, this fight will cause Sweden some serious economic bother. Though it doesn't appear to have done yet. Sal has been raided. We researched Carcass Shot. You've got on to Diamond Formation. And, the and that's a negative Ghost Runner. Ghost Rider. Uh, right, let's get you on with Fire in Advance. That gets us a plus one to training for infantry units. Let's do that. Okay. Ancillary gained. Okay, bonus to Enlightenment Tech Research. One of our ports are blockaded. That's okay. Stockholm. Yeah, we want to deploy that reserve army can get here just but they don't actually have any ships that can make it because you can't make it without being raided oh this is actually a bit dicey we may have to put together a a tight defense of the city although this army's got a lot of cavalry and pikemen so they're quite useless until this army gets involved right we don't have any. So, see if we can get peace. No, sadly not. Okay, we might be on for a bit of a desperate defense here at Stockholm, but we've got some. We've got a decent amount of troops here. That should be okay. We are going to want to recruit. A C C three. Stanislaw up to Gdansk. Yeah, because they're not going to let us sail a light galley through past these troops, these ships. That's not going to happen. Okay, let's pick up a general. Your first order of business is going to be to pick up... Ooh, what's that? 13 turns. No way. You're going to pick up just some infantry because we need a bit of mass. Let's get infantry and some artillery. 17,000. Let's upgrade one industrial building. Let's upgrade. Port in Crimea. That gives us 8,000. We can go to the Americas. Yes, this army's fully replenished. 
new man. Embark onto that single ship, a single heavily laden down ship. We can sneak into Antigua and land. We won't be able to attack, but we're here to defend the city if the if the French attack. Let's get you back into Cayenne. Okay, let's upgrade Sugar Warehouse. Let's upgrade Trinidad's Government Chambers. Next turn we'll get Rights of Man. That gets us Modern University. So Krakow will become a Modern University. Adding extra unhappiness, but that's that's okay. Right, let's hit enter and see what happens. Until the Swedes bring out that 12 pounder, we're not at threat from their their um, army in Sweden. The French appear to not have attacked the city. Austria look like they're building up their strength against us. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. The Dutch have declared war on us. Now it's time for us. Is this going to be what ruins our alliance with Austria? I think I have to call my allies in, right? Yes. Everybody hates the Dutch. But it does mean that French Guyana is now very much at risk. Because they have a Dutch... They have a Dutch territory right next to them. Yeah, Sweden's bringing their troops to bear. Not so they haven't got to worry about most of those to the rear. If they don't attack us, they're gonna they're doomed. They're doomed because that's given us that's going to give us time to bring our. Um, reinforcement army to bear. Yeah, that was a big mistake, Sweden. Denmark's also gone after us. Well, let's see if this works again. Russia didn't join us. Did that... Does that break our alliance with Russia? Okay. So some of our, well, Kiev in particular, we need to start building fortifications. We need to prepare for a declaration of war from our Russian friends. And I fear once we take out Sweden, that will only hasten that decision. So let's get the university... Yeah, this is a big mistake, Sweden. You can raid the territory as much as you like. It's going to make it less financially viable. Um, but we don't need it to be financially viable. Because if you can shut out four line infantry units a turn, that's a lot of infantry. New town emerges in Bulgaria. Okay, let's make you a craft workshop. Savoy has been destroyed. Who took care of them? The French. Yes, it was. So we've got the rights of man, but we're already upgrading our university. That's super. Trade agreement cancelled with the Dutch. We've broken well, our alliance with... Well, the Austrians have broken their alliance with the Dutch, which is great. But the Russians have broken their alliance with us. That's not great. Antigua has been sieged. That's good. Okay, 18,000 to play with. Like, I'm not immediately worried about an attack from the Russians. But we do want to start just adding a... Just upgrading our military recruitment on our frontier towns. Okay, let's deploy my... To be honest, I don't need to worry about saving movement points because I can't actually use them. Um, right, let's deploy you... Here. then this force can get ready to start advancing and potentially threatening Norway. That might be quite useful. More recruitment. <gasps> Winged Hussars. Yes, we're going to get one of those. We're going to get a unit of Trabant Cavalry and we're going to get a unit of Lancers. Good cavalry block. 
Right, but that gives us 6,900. We need to destroy the French, come back here and take Paramaribo to get access to another gold mine. This area will be quite valuable. And then we definitely want to take out Quebec to give us somewhere to recruit more um, significant armies. Until then, Antigua is kind of our linchpin territory. But let's take our army and engage the French. Lots of militia, lots of bowmen. This should be good. Let's take him out. But we definitely, yeah, this army is going to be really busy, and we do want to slowly build up our garrisons elsewhere, I think. Just in case we ever get caught out with uh, two possible attacks, and we're not able to defend against both of them. That is possible. We do need to bolster our position overseas. We don't want, don't want to take Maine, because it gives us a border with the 13 colonies. We want to take Quebec, and that's the centre of their power. Okay, so it's raining, so we're going to have weird sounds. All my gunners are going to hold to the right. Well, actually, I wonder if it's worth... I think because we do have... Well, we, we definitely have the firepower advantage. Let's see if we can make them commit against us. And then respond. Okay. Pirates acting as melee infantry on the flanks. My elite lancers form up. I'm pretty sure. Are they coming towards us? Yeah, they are. I think they are. Pretty sure they are. Well, except the ones that are defending. Bring our uh, Dragoon reinforcements in on the flank. Ah, to ah, the hell with this. Let's just... Uh... Let's get stuck in. start to push my line infantry through the town. I just want to run them up to the up into the town to start with just so they don't get too left behind. They can walk later on. Just give them orders to push up. Cavalry can trot. Pirates get out here. All my cavalry storm out. My, I'm just, just going to my artillery shoot at whatever they like. It's probably going to be... Just, just pick a handful of colonial militia units. My cavalry is going to be threatening that general. My infantry is going to be formed up ready to toss back the these first units of militia. Bring my cavalry across, ready to deliver the killing blow. The cavalry are not going to deploy. They've got plenty of firepower. Open fire. Awesome. Why are you... Curse you. Still, volleys are going in. The colonial militia are going to go down. Throw my dragoons into the mix. Just crash into the 32nd regiment. Because they're going to be breaking soon. These cavalry units can go both gang up on the 27th. Just slaughter as many of these as you can. That front, this, this unit's completely collapsed. Okay, you men advance up to here. You men hold in the gap. Here. You men advance up to the town centre. 
Yeah, their left flank's completely collapsed. Okay, my light cavalry to attack the colonial militia because my buccaneers have walked into the next enemy. Shattered, 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 shattered. Perfect. Keep advancing. Actually, that cavalry just pushed forward. Pikemen engage the militia. Make the second regiment engage the militia as well. The fourth regiment push up into this gap. Push forward. Cavalry just engulf the Hessian line. Push forward. Everybody's we just they're just getting overwhelmed. There they are. That's where all their native troops were hiding. Native Bowman Auxiliary. Let's see if we can try and pick them off one at a time. New men charge the 43rd. Where's my buccaneers over here? Charge the Hessian line. Go, pick off one native bowman unit. You and engage another. Buccaneers just hack at the infantry here. Infantry. Get up here and charge the native bowman as well. Line infantry is squaring off with French militia. We're doing a lot more, taking a lot more casualties than we really need to, but sometimes I like the red tide pushes through. You can attack that native unit. Excellent. Push forward and you men go after this native bow unit. Charge forward, man. Now you men charge in the back of the 43rd. You men just chased up the 7th. Run down this native bow unit. Colonial Light Cavalry push through the gap, try and help out the cavalry to the rear. Lancers push forward. Infantry help other infantry. Cavalry push forward to try to help other cavalry units. The Lancers are dipped. Native bows are wavering. And they're broken. One last native bow unit. But there is also enemy general's bodyguard. They're in the crosshairs. My artillery was completely not necessary for this match. Just get everybody to pour through the city. Enemy general's fallen. Colonial dragoons are taking a real hammering, but you know what? I don't mind. Slaughter them. Enemy general's bodyguard are all that stands against us, but they've lost their general, so that unit is done for. Kill them! Kill them all! A native bow unit came back, eh? Not for long, it won't. You men charge the native bowmen, see if that's enough to make them waver, or enough to make them break. Yep. 
They were about to be in the middle of a cavalry infantry sandwich. They did not like it. Will the end turn save them? Yes, it did. Still, a solid victory for our troops. They are all dead. Let's pick up. Okay, the Dragoons. Replenish. By army. Reinforce. Get my army into Guadeloupe. Embark. Get into Cinemary. Let's get my sloop out. They can switch. Deposit my troops. They can sit on the border. They're reinforcing and they can request colonial militia reinforcement. Then it's time for Paramaribo because they that's a a good tax center. 2,000, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got 300 le oh, 3,000 left. Let's, let's just start to add. Actually, have we got anywhere in Europe that needs roads first? Trinidad and Martinique, hang in. Stockholm doesn't have good roads, but we don't want to give them good roads yet because it just in it just improves the ability of the enemy to run around uh, raiding our stuff. So you guys are still replenishing. This force is ready to be committed into the battle. Polish Hussar Guards, the Trabant Cavalry, the National Cavalry. A lot of good things are going to get into the action. I yeah, don't like how you're just wandering around near all my stuff. probably behooved us to try and make peace with the Ottomans at one point, I would guess. I mean, if they raid Austrian ports, that's kind of the perfect outcome. Hamper our allies so they don't become too powerful. It's another full Swedish army. Uh... Do I want to intercept? The answer to that is no, because I want to hope, hope they kind of run around doing silly things. And it looks like they may continue to do so. It's going to take a bit of time to pacify this territory, but that's fine. Uh, an alliance with the Mughals? No. We don't want to get involved in any spats because of your militaristic intent. I think we need to deploy some of our raiding forces into Ottoman ports. Ideally, if we can just prevent their recruitment of ships and then rely on our, our uh, fellow Catholic brethren to clear out the enemy ports, or to clear out the enemy, enemy fleets that actually get deployed, that'll be really useful. What are the Barbary States going to do? Ooh, Ottoman rebels. Fun. Okay, let's take... Okay, so it's really good to raid Limassol, because it's really hard for the enemy to... Ooh, God, how did they not attack us? Antalya. Let's take you, push you into Izmir. And take this light galley and attack. I oh, know Sinop isn't developed yet. Go after Latakia. Then just keep recruiting. Yeah, Austria is doing the same thing as well. New town emerges in Poland. So you in Poland are going to get a coaching in to deal with the unhappiness developed from... or well, the unhappiness that will be developed from uh, this university growing. Okay, let's commit you and up here to the fight. So let's recruit a general. Can't get any can't get much in the way of artillery or cavalry. 
You can start to get some quite elite troops, including some mercenaries. Let's do that. First of all, let's get a few town upgrades built. So you've got some cavalry. Let's add on two units of skirmishers. But I think we want to take... Ooh, I wonder if... I wonder if the enemy's been hit by... Because they don't have enough money, they might actually be kind of bankrupt. I sail my sixth rate up to Finland. They are bankrupt. Excellent. Finland doesn't have any ports. Norway is the only source of income they have left. So I think once, well, this army kind of gathers their strength. We're going to want to keep another army nearby. Okay, you will. That's probably going to be enough to stop them from getting too unhappy. Recruit, recruit a Dragoon unit and then take Mr. Pontiovsky and attack Mr. Skold. Let's attack. Ooh. That road network brings in both these armies as reinforcements. Uh, no. Bring you in. You're within range of the town. That's you're also in range of the town. So they do go for us. We have reinforcements. Well, that's a bit of a tough move. If they are suffering from a poor economy, then they will start to well their army their their forces will start to shrink massively. Um okay. So I think really what we want to do is just keep their excess cash, just keep focusing on the overseas aspect. Okay, let, if I threaten you, will you run inside? If you do, that will be super helpful. Upgrade the government chamber. Let's upgrade the port here. Just really boost our overseas economy. We should actually have a spot available for trading. But we apparently do not have one. Uh, Hessen. Where's Hessen? I'm going to offer you my entire treasury just as a goodwill gesture. So I want Hessen to survive because that's quite interesting. I mean, the Dutch only have one territory in Europe, so if they fall... They're not... We're not overly worried, but worried about them. Um, the Danes aren't a super threat. At least not immediately. Let's hit N10. Oop, one second. Apologies for that. Cold caller. Uh, right, we have an opportunity to intercept this force, which we're definitely going to do because the enemy does not is not going to bring any reinforcements to bear because they've gone off the road. So let's do it. Botbid Skold, you're going to pay for this. Wandering too close. And also this army is going to be the first action, they've, the first opportunity they've got to actually... Um, get into battle so that's going to be quite good let's keep cracking on let's destroy this force and then we can start kind of pushing out of the city destroying the enemy and then hopefully if we can take well the enemy is, is soon going to be eradicated but once we take fin once we take um destroy sweden what we're going to see is that we'll have uh, Russia will start to become very unhappy. So let's deploy behind the lines. Let's get carcass shot. Ready to rock and roll. We, are, we want to push aggressively through the town. So let's... Well, first of all, let's... Before we do anything, we want to look at our new units. The National Cavalry look awesome. Fantastic looking cavalry. Really like them. Real, really smart, really smart lance cavalry, and the Trabant cavalry, which they def they're definitely different. So that's a good thumbs up. But I think I prefer the uh, for the National cavalry and the Polish hussar guards. Yeah, you got the traditional um, hussar uniform. I mean, it is different. It is unique. I still think of the lights that those 
damn National Cavalrymen. They're the ones that steal the show. So this infantry is 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 uh, positioned ready to push through the town. This force is going to advance forwards. Skirmishers are going to mass on the right flank. And they're going to get my the National Cavalry and my Hussars. My Heavy Cavalry are going to go out on the left. And they actually have pistols, but you almost almost never were using. Sometimes on occasion. Okay, let's get ready to go. So you men get out of the town. And my gunners engage whatever targets they see fit. Get my cavalry moving up quite aggressively. Let's make sure my artillery isn't engaging their artillery because we just Probably want to see if we can focus on hitting their cavalry. Howitzers. They're opening up with carcass shot. So that's a good hit on the heavy cavalry as it is. Our infantry is going to get into line. We're going to pop off some shots at this regiment of dragoons. That's wandered just a bit too close. Oh, an excellent artillery shot there. Just killed a lot of enemy cavalry. One good hit. Broken broken the enemy cavalry force there okay the enemy looks really intent on maximizing their defensive advantage which is fine but we are going to storm up to them take the battle to them we are not going to let them have that opportunity. Artillery just oh, the dragoons are pushing forward again. Carcass shot firing. Howitzers switch to round shot. 31st Regiment form square. Brabant cavalry charge forward to hit the mercenaries. Heavy cavalry is gonna hit us. You men potentially don't push forward that fast, especially towards the enemy pikes. National cavalry get in. This is I've been super way too aggressive. <laughs> Fortunately, our position they bring the cavalry back to deal with the pikemen, push the infantry up to sweep the hill. All my guns engage that provincial horse. The Trabant cavalry get over here and deal with the pikemen. Polish hussar guards get over here. Okay, my skirmishers got hit by the pikemen. Oh, by the Magrilla mercenaries. Interesting. Get okay, my light cavalry over here to hit the back of this formation. My. Come on, you men get over here and deal with those. Pikemen, these two units both engage the Dragoons. Howitzers engage the regiment of foot on the hill. Uh, you men, less the cavalry, drop into squares. My heavy cavalry have hit the pikes in the rear. That's caused them a great amount of upset. National cavalry engaging the mercenaries. That's kind of not the outcome you really want for your light cavalry. Maybe focus on the six pounders. Round shot engage this unit of infantry. Yeah, I was way too aggressive. Okay, you men advance up and hit the flank. The enemy cavalry there is going to die on our squares. Cavalry charge forward. This is a crazy, stupid battle. There we go. Never in doubt. Line infantry push forward. Our center is strong. Right, so this cavalry come through and hit this unit of cavalry here. Round shots engage the red the line infantry there. Howitzers engage the provincial cav. Trabant cavalry advance towards the provincial cav. 
line infantry's broken. There, they're all... We charged right up into their face, and it still wasn't enough. Okay, let's try and kill as many as we can, although it's just been a super messy action. Engage that unit of militia. You men are killing this regiment of foot. At least attempting to. If we can kill a few of their units, this wouldn't be a <laughs> wouldn't be a complete waste. Got the last of that infantry. And there's one more unit all the way over here. They're going to escape. This was close is not the word. I was way too aggressive. Way, way too aggressive. Still two to one ratio. Not terrible. I'll take it. You can raid as much as you like, Sweden. Every turn you take raiding us is another turn that we can just build up our strength inside your homeland. Especially when they are... The enemy is suffering from severe financial difficulties. We may want to ship a... A rake over to Finland and start to try and see if we can destroy their government building and prevent them from collecting tax at all and speed up the decline of their army. But yeah, that was a super messy battle. Yes! Ankara is owned by rebels. Dare we say Ottomans? Actually, first of all, Genoa. Rats. Uh, Ottomans, why don't we say let's pr propose a peace deal? 14 grand. No. Super tempting. If, it, if, I, if I get 14 grand. Hmm. If I could grab that territory, that'd be really good. Minsk, you can get a church school because you're partially orthodox and we've also got a lot of orthodox regions up here to worry about. Sweden's taking St. Petersburg. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Stanislaw, you are very bloodied in your first action. So you men can advance north. Let's use our 6th rate Pollux. To bring my rake over to Finland. So territory, I mean they're unhappy. We can't recruit any infantry, any uh, mercenaries because the boarding house is depleted. So let's just make it up with regular infantry. Confident general, war declared between the Dutch and France. That's going to be really good because I think the Dutch are going to lose. Dutch losing means. Okay, we're going to siege Paramaribo and leave it. There's no rush to attack it yet because if the Dutch fall, Hunda will also become probably a pirate territory. Then we can just sweep in and take that. Punch card loom has been researched. Now we're on to power loom, which is great. Okay. I think at these forts, you want to start beefing up their their um, garrison a bit now. There's a lot of Austrians <laughs> hanging around. Okay, right. That's all good stuff. You just keep doing what you're doing. Well, ultimately, you could probably garrison the city, but let's move you guys out. You guys in. Once we research uh, the church, we'll build the church school at Uppsala. That will start converting the population to Catholicism. That's pretty great. Oh, we got ministers. A new election has happened. Everyone's generally fine. Let's boot the American minister. Hey, he's good. Plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one justice. He's, he's quite good. Ooh, so I might swap for you guys. 
Really good justice minister now. Great. Are they still suffering from bankruptcy? They are still suffering from bankruptcy. Good. Yeah, if I can torch this military governor's encampment, they're going to be a bit screwed. Okay, 14,000, I think. I might start laying the groundwork for some defences from a future future possible Russian attack. 11,300 Moscow's generating. Well, their overall wealth is... that's. The, more than Berlin. I, mean, I think Berlin, well, lots of territories. I think we need to start dropping occasional fortifications down now because almost none of our territories actually has fortifications, including our capital. Okay, you've requested some more troops, including a winged SARS. That's pretty awesome. In you go. Okay, so you need. Ooh, good gun team, regular howitzer team. One unit of marines start to just beef this army out a bit. I need to immediately worry about the longer this goes on for, the more cash that uh, the Swedish will hemorrhage. Nothing immediately immediate to worry about. This university may carry on. Yeah, get light infantry doctrine to get some more skirmishers. Do we get access to our oh, Grenzers, Bohemian Grenzers, Sharpshooters, Riflemen? Excellent. Yes, go down that track, please. We want to max out our the max out our ability to recruit the widest range of units possible because variety is awesome. So our fleets could be at risk. I mean, ultimately, it was almost a done deal that the Ottomans would get that territory back. I think it just kind of, yeah, it behooved us to try and think about it as a possible smash and grab. At least we have our agent in there spreading Catholicism. Okay, so one army is going to advance eastward along the road towards Finland. One army is going to maintain the good fight near the capital. And once we have three armies, we can send one army to Finland, one army to Norway. That won't destroy Sweden because they have the... Um, they have St. Petersburg, but, you know... It, it'll still be pretty good. Capturing all of Scandinavia will be pretty awesome. They'll give us even more recruitment capability to ship armies out to America. Holland is on the way over. Good, 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 good. So we're at peace with the Barbary states, so it's not really... Oh god, they lost! They lost against the rebels! Great. Okay, Ukraine is serving as a good recruitment centre for our forts on the frontier. Maybe get a couple more. Okay, so Kiev's getting fortifications. Warsaw, let's build some fortifications. Awesome, so if I move you out and then you guys in. Excellent, they can, they can just about hack it now. Good. Okay, let's recruit a couple of sighting units, plus a few more to bulk out the army. Let's take Stanislav and attack Hinder Tropelius and his very depleted army. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the pacification of Sweden. Cheers everyone.